Hi everyone, Kim here, Sunshine Creations and Crafts. I'm making a birthday card for my nephew. And um, last year I made him a birthday card using the Create a Critter. So I wanted to go onto the silhouette and see what I could find there. And I found this image, it's number 40573, and I used the print and cut feature. All right, um, this is paper that I had bought a couple pieces at a scrapbook expo a few years ago. And it's called Whirlwind Papers Caribbean Colors, and it's pineapple. And it's got this um, really cool uh, texture to it. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. That was in my scraps. All right, so I'm going to lay this out. And the first thing, oh, not yet. First thing I want to do is I'm using my Lawn Fawn um, Sophie Sentiment stamp set. I'm using the Happy Birthday. Now this was all one stamp and I cut it in half and I'll show you why in a second because I am going to stamp happy on all of these balloons now I cut a bunch of the balloons out um, it comes with two, three, four, five, six balloons but I cut more than that out because I wanted it to be a little crazy with all the balloons. So each balloon is going to say happy. Now I was challenged with the print and cut because I don't do that very often. I think I did it one or two other times before this. So I had to try it a few times but eventually I figured it out. I do like that feature. And um, I think I heard somebody say on one of the YouTube videos that you can print and cut clip art. So I haven't tried that yet. I'm going to try that. Okay, this might do it. Alrighty, so here's my little hippopotamus. Oh, the reason why hippopotamus is its favorite animal. Oh, and another side note, he'll be 31. <laughs> he laughs at the cards that I send him. Okay, so we're going to put the balloons down first. And um, I think we're going to go ahead and use glue because it is a textured cardstock. Okay, little hippo, step to the side. I'm just going to kind of lay these down sort of willy nilly. I try to fit as many on there as I can. Not too concerned about putting the strings down other than just holding it in place. And try this one. All the way to the edge. And my hippo's gonna go on top of this, but I'm gonna just use a little bit of glue to hold it down. Stay. And I have this red one. and the yellow one which kind of blends in but that'll be alright put that guy right there and then this blue one right here we sort of have a pattern going here and then let's see what our hippo guy is going to look like at this point I'm going to pop him up I'll put that right there. I believe I stamped one more yet. But I'm not sure I'm going to put this one on. Because I'm going to put a little thought bubble right there. This is also from Lawn Fawn. And inside the thought bubble, which I'm going to stamp on a piece of cardstock here. Put that aside for a second. I'm going to hand cut that out. But first, 
I gotta clean off my snap block here a second. Not sure. Oh, that's not gonna come off. Okay. I guess that's probably. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers as well. Now I need my birthday. And I'm gonna stamp that inside the thought bubble. And do a quick. Yeah, he always laughs at the cards I send him. I mean, what kind of card can you send a 31 year old that uh, has hippopotamuses as their favorite animal, huh? It's going to be a kid looking card. But you know what? He's a kid at heart still, so that's good. He's staying young. I love that guy. I miss him. He lives way up in Seattle. Only see him like twice a year. And he's super funny. Almost done. I'm going to pop this up along with that little hippo guy. You know, sometimes it's fun to do, um, you know, real simple cards. As much fun as it is to, you know, do elaborate, oops, thing came apart there, elaborate cards. On the inside of it, since this is um, yellow, I'm going to put a piece of white cardstock that is um, four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to add some more balloons on the inside. We're going to go balloon crazy on this one. All right, oops, get out of there. So he's going to go right smack in the middle. And I'm going to pop this up. I know Lawn Fawn, um, you can also buy their dies to cut with their stamps, but I haven't done that yet. That should be good enough. I think I only really have one stamp set. Um, it's this one here called A Birdie Told Me that has the little thought bubbles um, that I would need to get dies for. The other ones are sentiment stamps. All right, so I'm gonna put this there thought bubble. Alright, and then on the inside, put that aside, I'm going to go ahead and just put a couple more balloons. Uh, maybe over here, so I have room to... Oh, my silhouette didn't cut that through. That's interesting. I've just never done that. Maybe I have to change my blade. Okay, put a green one. And gosh, orange. And I will go ahead and put a little dab of glue. Hold those down. I could have used a glue dot, but I didn't have those out, so. Okay, so that's the inside of his card. Now my fingers are sticky. Getting it right on the edge. And making that even, and there's the inside. Okay, so that is my little birthday card for my 31-year-old nephew, and he's going to get the biggest kick out of it. All right, thanks all so much for watching. Have any questions, uh, just leave a comment and I will get back to you. Have a great day.